Thank you for organizing this. It's good to have some place to be with other people, I have to tell you, otherwise I'd be crying in the bathroom. Uh, I'd rather cry here. Um, I'm Mira Shore. I'm a painter and a writer. I have a blog called A Year of Positive Thinking, but it's not that positive. And it's based, uh, or it's an offshoot of a book I wrote during the Bush administration, A Decade of Negative Thinking. So I, I, I don't want to write another book like that. Um, I've worked from a feminist politics um, since my youth, and I have a tendency to go against the grain. So I want to speak today about the importance of art and art making now when the necessity and the pressure for activism is as intense as the anger and fear that we're experiencing. I was going to write my remarks in the format of a series of tweets. Um, it would start, lay in bed one morning last summer and thought, if Trump is elected, my life will be shortened. Hashtag premonition. Parents refugees from Hitler thrived in US. Father died two months after Eichmann trial. Hashtag died of Eichmann. Hashtag delayed Holocaust victim. Hashtag inherited trauma. And late, 90, late 1990s, walking to the Met, feeling good about my life, suddenly think, it won't happen here, hashtag spoke too soon. But it's hard to keep up that form, so I'll, I'll read normally. Um, since, since the election, I've noticed the pleasure, indeed the gratitude people have expressed if someone shares a beautiful work of art on social media, not necessarily an outwardly political one. We value works that use representation, figuration, and language to openly announce their political intentions. But a painting of a flower, a small abstraction, or an ancient vase can evoke as much humanity as anything more overt. And the importance of such works as heroic human activity can be intense. In the recent Agnes Martin exhibition, I was particularly interested in one small early painting of narrow vertical black and white lines. In the face of the impulse, in response to the political moment, for artists to start churning out whatever the modern version would be of Guernica, this smallest of Martin's abstract paintings packed as much of a punch about human endeavor and heroism as anything that would will itself to make a political statement. Though small, the painting had great tension and drama. To me, it represents as much of the power of the universe as a model of the atom. And it is heroic in the way that artworks can be, if you can peer past the market. Evidence of one individual artist's search for perfection in a realm that seemingly has no specific utility to daily life. And that will be very much under assault. Being political is the long haul of critiquing power in every part of your life, all your life, including your own involvement with it. In the months and years to come, every force will militate against artists, including the duties of resistance. We're going to need everything to resist, people in the streets, strikes, polemics of all kinds, but we're also gonna need all kinds of strategies, including possibly ones we have not yet arrived at. And we will need all kinds of art, plays, novels, TV shows, songs, images of all kinds, and that is labor which is not always visible until it's visible. We need another death of a salesman or King Lear. In fact, I actually have um, an idea of the end of a movie. Um, a naked, insane Trump is carrying the body of Ivanka through the, the uh, <laughs> underwater ruins of Mar-a-Lago, but I'm not a writer. <laughs> I'm not a writer of fiction, so it's up to you. One of you can, can go with this. Um, but to write that play, and any other, um, you can't always be in the street. You have to be at home writing the damn thing. The individual can't always do both at the same time. Let's support each other in doing both. And I want to say that our work is cut out for us. When I, I happened to step out of the subway at what I was aware was the moment of 
the beginning of the impeachment, let's put it that way. And I, I passed two young women, and one of them said to the other, yeah, I'm trying this new carbon stuff to whiten my teeth. And I thought, okay, you are not thinking about where you are and what's happening. And uh, artists, and artists is a, a very broad range of activity. Uh, artists have to somehow reach those people and make them understand that they are implicated and hopefully that they can have some power. Thank you.